Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are. Uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows. And uh, we'll have our new commercials on it. And uh, everybody stay safe. Check out the shows. Like us on Facebook. But uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Headline, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. Sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans Cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live And it sure feels fine Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking My name is Rodney Dupree And today have we got a treat for you We're out at Boopaloo's Today is the second annual Redneck Regatta We have boat races We have good cooking we even have a pirate costume contest. It's the second annual. And Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all, got two ladies here we need to meet. Let's see where they're from. Um, I'm Leisha Gleber. I'm from Holden, Louisiana. Donna Reeder from Walker, Louisiana. Now, Leisha's the one putting this on, y'all. She's uh, with the Livingston Parish News. That's correct. I am our advertising director. And this is a big event. I know you can't do this by yourself. You got a lot of good help. That's what my best friends are for, free labor. Gotcha. That's now, right. <laughs> now tell us, uh, we're fixing to get the race underway here. Now tell us what's fixing to happen here. Well, we uh, just finished the Best in Show contest. We had all of the boat builders come up and um, display their boats, and there was a judging of that. Um, the Rotary Club of Livingston Parish took home first place, and um, the Miss America boat took home second place. Okay. Um, P-Row and Canoe is going to go first. Um, once that heat is finished, we'll... Um, have the winner for that, then we'll do the um, Anything Goes, and then we'll have a pirate costume contest at three. That's what I'm looking forward to, the yes. pirate costume contest. Have you seen some of the pirates? I've seen a few. Yes. Some That's of them amazing. look real. Yes, oh, yeah. I think they are. Are y'all going to dress up as pirates? We did for Spring Fest, but not today. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't okay. win my own event. So. Uh, yeah, I can relate to that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to let y'all go back to work, and Thank we're going to film this from upstairs up there, and okay. we're going to see who wins this baby. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. I found some of the guys out here. Oh, that's in this race. Let's get their names and where they're from. Lane, Baton Rouge. Dustin, Denham Springs. Greg, Walker, Louisiana. Brian, Bucci, Pierce, Prairieville, Louisiana. Hey! Boone, St. Francisville, Louisiana. All right. Y'all got a diverse group here. Yeah, that's Absolutely. it. Now, uh, were you in this last year? No, sir. First year. First year running. Now, uh, how long y'all been building on this boat? Two weeks. Two weeks. Looks like this baby's going to float. Uh, these are 55 gallon drums. They'll float eight pounds per gallon, so 440 pounds each. Seven barrels do the math for me. Nope. No. 3,200 pounds worth of pure floating right here. 3,200 pounds worth of pure floating. Now, how many people's riding in this boat? Six. Six. Oh, so all six of y'all are in here. Right. Six fat men, two cases of beer. Yup. <laughs> y'all might need more beer. <laughs> this is just for the road person. Of it. Gotcha. So the so you got to go 100 yards down the buoy and then come back. Is that is that the way it is? Yep. That's how it is. That's okay. Did y'all name it? She's the rum, rum runner. Rum runner. Rum runner. So some of these may be full, y'all. They they might not have all of these empty. Right. Hey, we're gonna wish them good luck and we're gonna see you in the race. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Got two more racers here. Let's get the name and where they from. Penny Navarre Holden. Mary Darcy Hammond. All right, now uh, I see y'all Y'all built this boat for two people. Yeah. Only two can fit in there. Absolutely. Maybe uh, some cold drinks or something? No. No cold drinks, nothing, just no. nothing water. but paddling. Straight water. Water, oh yeah, we're gonna need all energy, you know? Yeah. Gotcha. No drinks. Now did y'all, did y'all, did y'all race in this last year? Oh, no. no. No, first year. First year. Okay, so what's your expectations? With, today what 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 do you well what? we hoping to win but okay. we'd like to finish finish gotcha. strong now did y'all test finish it strong. no untested, untested. 
So what would not that, even, that wouldn't be fun. You didn't even put it in a swimming pool? See no. If it, all right. It's, only, it's no. made out of star foam. Y'all both can swim. Y'all, yeah. All right. And we have to have life jackets oh, as required. Oh, okay. So we won't. We won't drown. Well, good, good, I good. Hope. And I'm gonna wish y'all good luck, and hopefully see y'all at the finish line. Woo! I hope so. yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Found another racer out here, and this boat is very, very nice. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm Byron Summerall from Gonzales, Louisiana. All right. Now, did you build this boat? Yes, I built this. Uh, finished it about three months ago. It's uh, it's out of Cypress, Sinker Cypress. It's a uh, quarter inch by three quarter inch slats, and they all glue together. And then they, uh, it's clear coated with fiberglass and epoxy. That is one shiny boat. That's a lot of coats on there. And we've got three coats of uh, epoxy and uh, four coats of varnish on it. Gotcha. Now, have you raced in this before, in this no, event? No, I haven't. It'd be my first time. Gotcha. Did you build this for yeah. the event? No, I no. just built it. Uh, to build a nice boat. And that is nice beautiful. Boat. That Thank is one you. fancy boat. And I'm going to wish you good luck today. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, y'all. I found two more boat builders out here. Let's get the names and where they're from. My name's Will. I'm from uh, Springfield. Paula, and I'm from Springfield. Now, have y'all been in this event before? It's first time. First time. It's a really unique boat you got here. Now, now, did you test it out? We did. We put it in the goldfish pond, and uh, it floated for two weeks, so we think it'll last out here for, should take about two minutes to make the last. All right, all right. Now, uh, how long did it take you to build it? Uh, messed up with it part-time for about a month or so. You know, I didn't know about this till about a month ago. What gave you the idea of the PVC? Uh, I, I had a bunch of ideas. It's just the only one I had time to go with. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm going to wish y'all good luck today. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all. got two more racers out here. Let's get their name and where they're from. Larry Quave from Killian. Michael Quave from Albany. All right. This is a really unique boat you got here. Now, you said you built it, and he's racing it. Right. Okay. Now, uh, how long did it take you to build the boat? Oh, off and on, I guess by six weeks. <laughs> you know, okay. that, that's just a little time here and there. Gotcha. It's really unique. So you, you pedal? You, oh, you... Yeah. you, you, you hand you, paddle you, here that turns these wheels. Okay. And so it's... they're jammed on the... Riverboat style. Yeah. Riverboat style. And yes, indeed. Oh. Backwards and the other way, like one zero of the Okay, like a zero turn zero lawnmower. Yep. All right, fellas. Well, good luck to y'all, and I Thank hope you. to see y'all at the finish line. All right, All man. Right. All right, boat builder here. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm Kyle Crusta. I'm from Covington. All right, right down the road. Right down the road. Now, uh, you built this boat. Yes, sir. Yeah, me and my son built it together for, uh, about three months over the weekend. So a lot of it was, you know, getting frustrated with it and not fooling with it for a little while, but it was a good little project together. Really nice boat. Really, really nice boat. Now, you're going to be paddling it by yourself? Uh, no, my boy's on the way. Oh, so. okay. So it's a two-manner. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's right. Now, have you been in this before? No, sir. No. Uh, I work right there in Walker with Richard Price Contracting, oh, and okay. uh, I've been hearing about it, you know, pretty much all year long that I needed to come and race in it. So. Yes, yes. Well, all right. Well, we're going to talk to you later on. Hopefully see you in the winter circle. Appreciate it. All right, y'all got two more racers here. Let's get the name and where they from. Ryan McClenahan. I'm originally from Columbia, Louisiana. Hey, Brian Scott Patero. I'm uh, from Walker, Louisiana. All right, fellas. This is a mighty nice looking boat you got here. Uh, how long it took you to build it? Well, originally a uh, good friend of mine actually built it first and then me and him done a, some modifying on it a couple years ago. But uh, it's, it's, it's actually somewhat this this shape and form has been about six years you know oh, in the making so it's okay. it's been built for quite a while he, he done a lot of a lot of the leg work on it you know i just come in on the end help here and there so you you pedal the bike and then the propellers in the back turn that is correct now how many miles an hour you think this baby will go as, as fast as you well as depends fast. on how much manpower you gotcha, want to put it gotcha gotcha now it takes four people true okay all right bro well good luck and we're gonna see you at the finish line appreciate it thank y'all <laughs> All right, y'all, I found two more racers. Let's get their name and where they're from. Laura Rowe from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Jennifer Watson, Denham Springs. All right, that's a mighty fancy boat y'all got here. Yeah, tipsy. Tipsy. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, how long did it take y'all to build it? A week. One week? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good for building a boat. We now, had some good helpers. Okay. Yeah. Now, have y'all tested it? Yes. Y'all did? In, in the pool. pool. Okay. <laughs> but we actually didn't sit in it. We just made sure just it let float. it push around. Yeah. So this is going to really be a, the real test coming up. Real deal. And did y'all race in this before? No. The first year. First time. Well, all right, ladies. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank y'all. Cheer on Tipsy. All right, y'all. Got two more racers here. Let's get the names and where they're from. 
Neil Pearson from Holden. Caleb Gleber from Holden. All right, that's a fancy little boat y'all got here. Uh, how long it took y'all to build it? About a week and a half. Okay, you're using PVC for flotation. PVC and spray foam, and we got sheets of styrofoam underneath it. Oh, okay. Okay, now have y'all tested it? Yes. You did? Yes. Done good? Excellent. Okay, so it floats good? Floats good, it planes out. So after this, you can go fishing in it? Yeah, that's Absolutely. the plan. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to y'all, and hope to see you at the finish line. Thank you. Thank y'all. All right, y'all, I got two more racers. Let's get their name and where they're from. I'm Orlando Cassis from Livingston. Alex Casas from Livingston. All right, that's a mighty fine boat you got there. What gave you the idea? Well, last year was the first year they did this, and it was the first year we competed, and uh, I used uh, uh, storage containers from Walmart. I did 12 storage containers on a piece of plywood, yeah. and it was really hard to paddle. So this year I went a little bit more hydrodynamic, and actually a friend of mine sent me a picture of a bottle boat. The bottle ship is what we call it. Ah. And so I decided, well, we're going to go ahead and try it. So from work, uh, it's got 886 bottles in it, oh. and from work, uh, I probably half these bottles come from work every time they'd have meetings got the Doyle high school uh, baseball team has Gatorade <laughs> bottles in there uh, rotary would give me some bottles oh, so everybody yeah pitched in. oh yeah well so, well how'd you do in the race last year uh, I think we were almost last and that's because the last guy sunk <laughs> oh okay so they will some will sink today yeah yeah I'm thinking so gotcha well good luck to y'all and uh hopefully see you at the finish line all right thank you very much thank y'all Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, ports, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. Welcome back to Cajun Living and Cooking. All you guys ready? On your mark. Get it set. Go. The bar is speed. And they're off. Two thousand fourteen. Take the ball river, redneck regatta. Y'all make some noise. Thank you.
sportsmanship. Real good sportsmanship out there, everybody. Second place. In second place. Give him a hand. Captain Greg Archer. They're quiet much, but they're mean. Started. <laughs> All right, on your mark, hit set, and go! And they're off. Police department. And some of them's off more than others. There they go. Make some noise, everybody. Well, it's a battle at the start. It's a good battle at the start. Interesting. We'll get them go. We got the one-man show over there. The cardboard boat just starting off. There they go. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. There they go. Will they make it all the way in that cardboard boat? First place. The bottle ship for first place, everybody. Bottle ship. Come on, Barry! Come on, Barry! Pipe dream. Pipe dream coming, pipe dream coming for second. Pipe dreams coming up. Uh oh, third place is looking a little shaky. We got trouble. Well, they got trouble. Pipe dreams, second place. Rap attack is going to have a tough time finishing the race. Yeah, Lisa said we were Who is that one man show? Uh, this guy is a uh, throw it off. Throw it off. One minute show. Somebody toss that guy a beer. That's it. All right, man. Hey, I'll see. Hey, you out? Yeah, I've got to go. I'll see you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you can't do it. Third place. Mr. Larry. The Kickball River Cycling Team is, is approaching. Look at them go, y'all. The Cardboard Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. What about that, huh? Still going. And Rap Attack pushing. Neck and neck. Neck and neck for fourth attack. Fifth. Rap Attack back to the fourth. Still rolling. All right. How about it for finishing the race? Rap Attack. PVC coming up. That will be PVC purple versus camo. And just a little tidbit of information, you guys. Springfield Volunteer Fire Department now has a, a, a rescue boat, and just their first rescue ever is the Miss America boat down there at the very end. So hats off to the men and women of Springfield Volunteer Fire Department, District 2. And on the deck at Boopaloo, as soon as everybody gets in, we're going to report it onto the deck at Boopaloo. They're going to have the pirate costume contest. So make sure that you dress your worst or your best. We'll be right back after these messages. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. 
Call or come by today. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites hog cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on site butcher has all your specialties smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Welcome back to Cajun Living and Cooking. It is going to be Ryan McClanahan and the Purple People Eater. Where are you at? Come get your trophy. And then second place is Vessel Timeout, Captain Byron Summerall. There he is. And then in first place, Kyle Crusta with the SS Reese. Cardboard and duct tape category. In first, second, and third place, Richard Michael, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's a victory lap right there. First, second, and third place. And for the Anything Goes category, in third place, we have throwed off Mr. Larry Quaid, Captain Larry Quaid. In second place, we have Pipe Dreams, Captain William Quaid. And in first place, we have the Battleship, Rotary Club of Livingston Parish, Captain Orlando Casas. And in dead last place, we have the Rum Runner Pirates. And they're happy to be there. All right, y'all, first place right here, Orlando. Thank you. Congratulations, thank man. You. Yeah. Anything goes division, first place. Now, uh, who do you want to thank out there for this? or uh, what? It, it, well, it, me and my son and uh, Aaron Graham put the boat together, and then the Rotary Club helped out. They provided some supplies, and that's who I'm really racing for. So awesome, I thank man. all of them. That was a good race. I uh, know. That was, was, are you I'm tired? Oh, I'm tired. I didn't realize it was that far. You next, ready for next, something? Next year I'm going to work out before I do the race. Gotcha. You ready for something cold? <laughs> I already got it. <laughs> gotcha. Congratulations, right. man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Kyle. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, man. That was some good rowing you had out there. First place in the canoe and p -row division. Nice trophy you got there. Are you tired? Yes. A little bit? A little bit? How you feel? It's a workout out there for sure. I bet. But, uh, I bet. Who you want to thank out there? First place. Uh, uh, who you want to thank? I want to thank Reese most of all. Uh, yeah. I mean, he he was giving his all out there, and and he helped me build the boat, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Exactly. It was his idea to build it. So. Well, that's fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's really fun stuff. Y'all gonna come next year? Yeah. Yeah. We should be back. Y'all try again. He'll be a little taller. Yeah, a little bit taller. Well, we congratulations might, we, we again. Might even have a, a different boat. Oh, really? Yeah. New paddle style, maybe yeah, kayak or something. That's it. All right. Well. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. I got another winner here. Richard Michael. Where are you from? Uh, Denham Springs. All right. You won first, second, and third. Sure did. In the cardboard duct tape division. Yeah. Now, now, um, who'd you like to thank? I'd like to thank my co-captain, uh, Curtis Thomas. All right. He helped you build. And he everything? helped me build. He helped me paddle. He helped. He helped. He helped everything. Awesome, in fact, man. this is his trophy. How do you feel now? Since the race over, you tired or you? I feel uh, that I will never build another cardboard boat in my entire life. <laughs> now, will you be in the race next year? Absolutely. In a, in I'm, a, I'm going to build the Goonies pirate ship. All right. You might compete against them rum runners. That's right. Well, thanks, bro, and congratulations. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Okay. That's better. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope y'all had as much fun as I did. Attention, 
Okay. Honorable mention. We have an honorable mention. Where is the dog? Where is the dog? Right here. We have an honorable mention for our dog right here. Sassy Pants. Sassy Pants finishes honorable mention. Okay, our third place winner. Third place. I don't know their name, so I'm going to have to just go by the uh, costume. Our third place finisher, ma'am, here of our third place finisher right here. Let's hear it for Third place in the regatta. Our second place winner. And I will assure you it has nothing to do with the fact that she bribed me and McHugh. But our second place winner is this young lady right here. Lady Peacock. Lady Peacock. And our first place winner. He's been here all day. It has been hot. It has been warm. I'm in shorts and I'm hot. But anybody that will dress up in all black all day. First place winner right here, the gentleman right here. The best of the best of the power costume of the regatta. Again, I want to say a special thank you to the Dillard Springs News and the David family for putting this on and bringing it out here to us. And especially this young lady right here, she has worked tirelessly. Last week it was supposed to be on, and the rain and the floods and everything wiped us out. But you got to give it to Leisha because she stuck right with it. Thank you so much, Leisha. This has been a wonderful time today. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. And thank y'all very much for coming out. Get an interview now. All right, y'all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We got first place right here. All right. Third, Third. place right here. What do y'all got? Who do you want to thank? My I sewing think. machine. Your sewing machine. All right. Now, uh, does that gun really shoot? No. It's very fake. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all had a great day out here at Boopaloos, man. It's really been a good time. If you hadn't been out here, you need to come out here. This was fun. We had a boat race. We had a pirate costume contest. We got good music, good drinks, good food. I'm telling you what, you need to come next year for the third annual. Thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Check us next week.